going on guys it's day two uh here in the here in the tompkins workshop up in rockhampton we didn't do it at the start of the morning but we've um it's about midday and we're we're uh yeah chugging chugging through the work we're hoping to have all the rear end set up we've just got the setup plates out now um set up the rear end square that up yeah we should be right to uh well the plan is to fire this thing up um tonight or, or first thing tomorrow morning depending on how late we we work we had a pretty late one last night so um yeah and i'm just playing around with the bumper bar just to just to change it up a little bit to to make it more of our our sort of uh, our sort of car so but yeah everything's everything's coming along where um yeah we've had a few hurdles along the way you know once it once again it's it, nothing nothing's ever nothing's ever easy or you you haven't got this part or that part or and you have to make do with with what you got so but yeah it's all it's all coming along so we're um yeah we're hard at it just about to have some lunch and get stuck back into it so we'll keep you updated um yeah hopefully when it starts running what's going on guys it's day four now and uh we're we're on the we're on the home stretch i was meant to be driving back home today but um yeah not all it's not all sk skittles and uh skittles and coke as they say so but we've just got the setup plates out now we're just making sure everything's square and getting everything where i don't know if you can see that at all but we've got a couple of just making sure everything is where we want it in the car i'm just finishing off the fan shroud we did, did all the nose cone and front bumper bar and everything yesterday which i think looks pretty cool we've we've uh yeah it's definitely definitely coming along definitely coming along nicely so hopefully in the next couple of hours or so we should be um should be right to fire this thing up and make sure everything's all good start bolting some panels on it and go from there so right 2 2:30 p.m update and looks like we're finally getting ready how far away are we from starting it dad uh, ten, minutes or so. 10 minutes so i reckon we're we're an hour away from starting but jeffy and i've been busy with the well, we just had to pull half the panels off, but we're busy fixing the deck down, riv nut and everything in place so that we can remove everything um, when we need to. But yeah, it's been a busy, it's been a busy few days. But I think we're on the we're on the home stretch with getting it done. So we'll fire this thing up and see if we can't make some noise. Right, yeah. So let's. just gotten to work about an hour early because Nate's here it's Tuesday morning and someone has finally arrived back in Brisbane <laughs> last night I think at about what 1 30 2 in the morning yeah 1 30 4 to 2 he stayed <laughs> on the side of the street near my work because we are at our new sponsors place about to get the car wrapped so stay tuned <laughs> been waiting a long time for this finished product <laughs> not what not waiting yeah. working hard <laughs> uh, just take a mental note of those straight panels while you can <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> the only issue we got is, yeah. Might need to. <laughs> cool. It it they, it's funny because they just look like such simple cars, and so much goes into it. <laughs> Very cool, slightly different shape. our new sponsor for the 2023-24 season and beyond is Graph Tech. So based in Brisbane, um, they're going to be doing, well they've done our complete livery design and going to be wrapping the car. So Gareth here. Hey Gareth. <laughs> Be doing all this hard work and hey buddy yes <laughs> it's so exciting it's a nice clean car to wrap it's going to look very different in a couple days time pretty cool setup very excited Yeah, guys, check them out. They're based out of 17 Mile Rocks. Um, but yeah, do sort of decals, building signage, obviously vehicle wraps, um, and all of this amazing design work as well. They're really fantastic. So definitely, definitely check them out. <laughs> can, can't thank Gareth enough. What's up guys? It's Wednesday night. We're hoping to race on Saturday and we've got a massive list of things to do to get there. So the car is currently at GraphTech getting wrapped. Hopefully it's done by tomorrow night, but may not be done until Friday. So we've split up our list between tonight tomorrow night at Graph Tech and then Friday night, Saturday night. I think all up we've got 12 hours, three hours, three hours. <laughs> 20 hours of work at least. That's not including some work at the track on Saturday as well. So we're trying to find time that doesn't exist, but it's okay. We'll make it happen. We always do. We're trying to do what we can at home while we don't have a car. So getting the trailer ready, um, you know, we've gone to the new coilover shock. So we're mounting a new coilover shock rack in the trailer, um, getting all our parts ready. So then, oh my gosh, it's a massive list. But yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> Bloody slave driver, this one. Yes. <laughs> I've got a different length shocks now that won't fit on the... What? On these? Yeah, well, they're different lengths now. So you don't know how far away, how far apart to mount them. Is that what you're saying? Actually, now I can set up the... Set it up to... Uh, no, nah, see, I'll end up having to go to nine inches anyway. All right. <laughs> got it sussed. Doesn't make any sense to me. I'm just here for the support. Trying to look pretty. <laughs> Don't know about that. Me, me. 
Yo, where's mom? Where's mom? <laughs> Puppy girl, what do you think you're doing? Hey? So, the shocky mounts are gonna wait. Is that right? <laughs> I guess if I'm we're going to do it, we got to do it properly. I'm undecided on what length we're going to run. I think I know, but... Yeah. Next. <laughs> so we'll move on to the panel, the rear panel stays. Mm -hmm. And then I've put the GoPros on charge. All the important stuff. All the important stuff. The race car doesn't run yet, but we get all the important stuff. Got to keep the people at home happy. Yeah, don't know about the race car. <laughs> Who knows there? <laughs> That's all right. We'll figure it out. Take them off. All right. So it's night. Well, day two at Graftech. It's 8 p.m. <laughs> Gareth's pulled some long, long days and to get everything that we need to get done on the car before Saturday, um, we've joined him tonight, tried to do what we can, but it is looking so, so good. Just can't wait to see this thing finished. So exciting! Yes! What do you think of the car? Do you guys? Alrighty guys, moment of truth, D-Day with the wrap, I'm here at Graftech, here in Sumner Park, or 17 Mile Rocks, right next door to Breeze's work, and um, we're just about to unveil the brand new livery scheme for our 2023-24 season, um, so yeah, we've got some major sponsors uh, that we'd like to thank, first and foremost, First and foremost is uh, Ranger Ranger Lifting. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't be able to we wouldn't be able to do what we do without those those guys this year. They really pulled us out of a pulled us out of a bind. So um, can't thank those guys enough. So um, and Graph Tech, they have just absolutely knocked this thing out of the park. So let's go and have a look at it. Let's check it out. Here it is, the 2023-24 Q3 Ranger Lifting Graph Tech. Here's Gareth. He has spent the last three nights until about one o'clock in the morning getting this thing done and it looks absolutely out of control. So good. So we've still got a little bit to do. We've still got to go home and uh, do a little bit of mechanical stuff on it tonight, but everything's looking good and we'll be there. Um, we'll be there on track tomorrow at, uh, at King Iroy. So big thanks to Graph Tech. Thanks, Gareth. Give us a wave. <laughs> 
So yeah, if you're in if you're in need of a vehicle wrap, whether that be race cars, um, any cars for that matter, even stickers, signage, absolutely anything at all, give give uh, give Gareth from Graftech a call. Yeah. Stoked to have you on board, and we are looking forward to getting this thing dirty, just not scratched. Loading <laughs> oh. her in to take her home. Looking good. Guess where I am. Just a big Q3. Okay, I think, I think we got it. Come with me. <laughs> Happy Saturday, guys. It's officially race day. Well, it's midnight on Friday and we're still working on the car. <laughs> we're slowly getting through our list though, which is good. Um, but we have a little bit of work to do before we can get it on the track. Oh yeah, what do you think? Do you think we're definitely racing? Yeah. <laughs> So to give you guys an update, I know it's been a bit of a disjointed video, but basically we, Nathan came back on Tuesday, no, Monday night, stayed the night near my work in the trailer on the street um, so that we could drop the car to Graph Tech on Tuesday morning. Tuesday night... We did some stuff in the shed and in the trailer. Wednesday night, we, is that right? Yeah. Wednesday night we went, no, Tuesday night we rest, we caught up on some sleep. Wednesday night, we did some stuff in the trailer. Yeah. Last night, we worked on the car at GravTech, pulled another all nighter there. And then tonight is another all-nighter before race day tomorrow. So it's been a week, but I can't wait to see this car out on track. It's been in the dream pipeline for a long time, so it'll be good to finally see it going. Um, yeah, but it's been, it's been a marathon effort. So we apologize for a bit of a weird video this time round, but um yeah it's just it's just been non-stop so all focus has been on getting this thing ready to race that's the main priority but yeah hopefully next time i'm checking in it's a nice transition and it's race day and we're at the track ready to rock and roll <laughs> fingers crossed okay it's 10 30 we were aiming to leave in three minutes but we're in a mad rush. We're loading up now. <laughs> nice. How sexy is that? Alright, we are. 20 minutes out of Rocky. No. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> My bad. How tired we are. <laughs> How tired we are. It's been a time, but uh, we're lucky. We've got Jeff coming out to Rocky, driven all the way from, uh, coming out to Kiroi. <laughs> Driven all the way out from Rock 
lucky to help us out this weekend so we're very very lucky with that because there's still a bit of work to do on the car um, when we get to the track uh, we should arrive around 1 30 gives us a couple of hours um, but yeah I don't know how are you feeling bunch of last minute stuff and things going on trying to get it ready to rock and roll to hit the track Jeffy's here thank god we'd be stuffed without him but yeah pretty pretty exciting to be back racing can't wait to see how it goes and God, it looks so good in the sun. I'm just so excited to see this thing rolling around the track. I'm so excited to see what it looks like at night as well. I mean, yeah, Gareth um, from Graph Tech has done an amazing job of our design and our livery and, and wrap. So yeah, we can't thank Gareth enough for all his hard work. And of course, we have some other new sponsors on board. We've got Ranger Lifting. So they, they've come on board um, for this year to help us out. And yeah, very excited. Mr. Wicked Power. Howdy. Back for another season. 
Absolutely, looking forward to it. <laughs> brand new car. What do you brand think? Brand new livery. Looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Yeah, same, same, but different. Yeah. Bit of jazz. Again, Nathan has reminded me I'm only allowed to touch the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing mechanical. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a very important job. I mean, you got to keep this thing looking as good as it does. So I think this is the last time we'll see it this good. <laughs> I think so. I said to Nathan, now just take it all in. The straight panels, the pristine wrap. It'll yeah. never, never look this good. I've already, I've already asked him what it's going to feel like when he gets his first dent on those mm. nice straight panels. I said, he said, him and help the person does it. I said, it'll probably be a Bretto. And he says, <laughs> yeah. I said, but he's got his new car too. So he said, but he's yes. already dented his, his thing. That's he true. Thinks, so. That's true. Yeah. We had a, uh, we had a moment silence in the car before we came in for the, for the panels <laughs> that um, are going to be no longer yeah. this pretty from here on Absolutely out. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. It's good. I, I think with the uh, fresh colors, it'll go faster. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think so too. We'll yeah, yeah, I think that's the key, definitely. Proof the pudding's in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how, how it goes. Well, now all the pressure's on Nathan. I mean, the car looks amazing. Yeah. Now he's just got to perform. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a bit different with um, Graph Tech's design detail on the back oh, as well. That's spectacular. Talk about the limo. Yeah, that it's is cool. Hey. So we've had to hire a transponder um, because last night we ours decided to just stop working on us. Bretto's trying to do us a mischief. <laughs> Cut out, you know. Are you getting some love angles like yeah. that? <laughs> I thought I'd take a leaf out of your book. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you took the book. <laughs> Man, I can't even run anymore. <laughs> oh, I'll try. Turned, the brakes break. Brakes work, brakes are bedded in. <laughs> Track's rough. Yep. And the car's dirty. There we go. So oh, Nico, I've got that arm. That arm. So we are starting out of Heat 1, P5, and we've got quite a few cars here tonight. So, yeah, breaking us up into two heats per round. See how we go. Okay, I managed to clamber up these stairs. Nath is gridded up for his first heat and we're now ripping the track. So just waiting on that. We're all anxiously yeah, sitting here waiting for Nathan to get out on track, but he seemed to be happy with, I guess there's only so much he can tell from a grand parade, but he seemed to be happy with how it felt then. So yeah, hopefully we're all good. Oh, it's going to be so muddy. <laughs> no! Why? Oh, I wish you the best tonight, mate. Hope we're gonna race and see some good action. And hope to see you there in the middle, hey? There's the reggae. Try and pack some of that moisture up top as well. Alrighty. Let's go. Number one of the M car. As they roll to that white line, 
The drive is up high on the racetrack. Kevin Stowe gets the better off the jump. Gary Stacey, the eight car, but the thirteen car. smooth I mean as always you're a smooth driver but yeah, it felt, um, felt good yeah. yeah anything that's any red flags um, <laughs> nothing that's like standing out to you the biggest thing I've, I've found is the throttle pedal is too far away from me so like I actually have to like extend my foot to get right. full throttle and cramp not big to the normal you're shorty <laughs> which unfortunately the rod is set length um, yeah that's it that that next time that's a 10 hour job later yeah. <laughs> can I go to sleep now <laughs> not yet oh. not yet
and Frank Geary is the race leader. The 92 car. How's it going? <laughs> no, I don't want it stuck down the bottom there yeah. for the first few laps and then... Yeah, it's so slick already down there. Yeah, and I thought, um, I don't know, I thought I might have... Like, I thought I might be able to hold my ground there, but... Uh, and I tried going slower to go faster as well, but... Yeah. And then, but then even when I went to the top, it's still... Like, I still... The, the clumps of mud up there are like... So rough. Yeah, there's like, there's no, there's no drive at all. Yeah, right. How's the car feeling though? I mean, like, it, yeah. it's the first race out, so yeah. is yeah, it I mean, giving yeah. you a bit of an idea of, like, how you want to set it up and... It's always hard, to, it's always hard on a slick track like that. Like, yeah. yeah. How do you really you want, gauge it? You want it? the most forward momentum as possible, don't you? But, mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. I'm sort of... Oh, I'm so <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to think straight as well at the minute. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. we've had that many. And the sun's pretty late bad nights. too. Like it's, the sun's. Yeah. And I thought, oh, yeah, you're I was back in fifth there, there, and I'm thinking, if someone spins out, I'm not going to see him. Yeah, like, right. I'll just plow straight into him. So. Yeah. Okay, modified drivers, he right. two, he two with the modified to the back of the dummy group, please. I have a big admission to make took me a lot not to cry about it but it's it's so bad I talk about baby brain I think I well I'm putting it down to that anyway but I took all of these amazing photos of the car clean panels straight panels not a speck of mud on it and with the sun out and everything and i had no memory card in the camera so <sighs> i'm laughing because if i don't laugh i'll cry here we are now <laughs> so that's that i have some photos um barely on my phone but yeah I'm just I'm a little bit sad well a little bit is an understatement but yeah anyway <laughs> I'm 
blaming it on the baby. <laughs> Right in behind him, 
is Brent Robot up there. Now and now for Troy Price. Leads them past the pit gate and down the back.
Well, the Amcar National. Okay, Mr. Backwards. <laughs> no. Backwards, all right. <laughs> tell me, tell me what what the story is. I, I thought mean, we it's... were. I thought we were in with a shot <laughs> after that heat, after the third heat race. But yeah. Nah, the track was just super, super slick. Yeah. Um, and I reckon we we went a little bit tighter in the in the setup for the feature race. Just, okay. Just to see, just to, I mean, just to see what it'd do. Yeah. Um, turns out these coilovers, you don't have to do much okay. for it to change a lot. Maybe went a bit too much. Well, I mean, yeah, it's that's the that's the beauty of it, isn't it? You don't you don't know. Like it might have been perfect for a different type of track, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, I had no. It just felt too. It just felt. It felt too tight, which then, when you tried to get back on the gas again, it'd it'd break loose. So right. I think um, I'd love to. Yeah, I'll put it on the scales tomorrow and see what see what we got. But, yeah. And I was like quarter throttle. Like I mean, just baby in the throttle. Yeah. Right. So. I mean, yeah. It's. Yeah. We always knew that tonight would be. A, te a oh. test run of, of sorts. Didn't yeah. quite expect that because I haven't yeah, I, I haven't seen you go backwards in yeah. such a long time. Yeah. But you know, it, as long as we can figure out, I think the other thing is we had like zero time to really test the car. Like it was just rush, rush, yeah, rush, I get mean, it ready, yeah. and it was all it was all going. Like it, ha did you have you like put it on the scales? Have you done? We put on the scales at at, at Dad's place. Um, and we like put a set up into yeah. it, but, but all we've done is just tweak on that tonight and try and get it better. But we know, not, we know. Well, that's just a look, you know, good little bit of data for next time. That yeah, we, we yeah. know what, which 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 way to head rather than so. yeah. But uh, yeah, and hopefully. we've come from like five seasons of a certain set of data. Yes, to but, yeah. a whole new setup, not just engine, well, but coilovers and yeah, yeah. Yeah, whole, whole new, new setup. setup. Whole new setup. So that's all right. <coughs> a bit, bit, bit bummed out to go backwards like that. But <laughs> hey, you can only go forwards from here. That is true. That is right. true. You gotta look on the bright side. Yep. Anyway, it's sort of in one piece. The yeah. other side's a bit worse for wear, but yeah, this side looks good. This side, yeah, this side looks great. Don't go around the other side. But... Yeah, we'll have to figure out. Yeah. We'll see what the see what the New South Wales well. title brings. Until next time. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>